Hello and welcome to Bounty in the Comics. My name is John Trent. I'm the founder and editor in chief at Bounty in the Comics. Today I got a story about Disney Imagineer Chris Kidder praising Lucasfilm's decision to fire the Mandalorian actor Gina Carano. First reported by WDW Pro at Pirates and Princesses, Kidder described himself in his Twitter bio as a Disney Imagineer and producer on Epcot Spaceship Earth. Epcot and Spaceship Earth. He has since locked down his Twitter, but his LinkedIn profile claims he has been working with, the, with Walt Disney Imagineering for over 12 years before he began working with Walt Disney Imagineering. His profile says he worked for almost five years as a senior financial analyst for the Walt Disney Company. Most recently, he describes himself as a creative producer. He writes, creative team leader responsible for achieving and maintaining the creative vision and for ensuring the implementation of that vision through the project lifecycle from blue sky ideation through design to implementation. He also adds, quote, overall producer for Epcot Transformation Project, $1 billion plus, and creative producer for Spaceship Earth Attraction. Kidder also describes himself as a, quote, key Epcot liaison for various groups across Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, including park leadership and operations, marketing, entertainment, finance, communications, commercial strategy, corporate alliances, and franchise management. As you can see here, he also manages and attends weekly creative leadership team reviews with responsibility for follow-up on key action items. He also says he leads and manages the design team from concept to final installation, install integrated team members, disparate schedules, established deadlines, resolved disputes, and provided the team with the tools and information they needed to do their job. It's pretty clear Kidder has worked for Disney for quite a while and appears to be in a position of significant power where he even leads and manages the design team. As for his praising of Disney and Lucasfilm firing Carano, he posted to Twitter back on February 10th after it was announced that Carano had been fired. He wrote, thank you for doing the right thing, Lucasfilm. In a subsequent tweet, he, he then added, if Lucasfilm can make sure Gina Carano won't be in another Star Wars related project, 100 US senators can make sure Donald Trump is never allowed to hold public office again. Given Kidder is in a managerial position at Walt Disney Imagineering, one has to wonder whether or not he discriminates against individuals based on their political beliefs. These tweets praising Carano's firing certainly seem to indicate that he does. Also, given Kidder's position, one has to wonder if this is approved corporate culture. Is Disney a discriminatory company? Their public actions certainly seem to indicate they are. One has to wonder, given Kidder's tweets, if he's one of the individuals who's, who has created a toxic work culture at Disney and Lucasfilm. After her firing, Carano sat down with Ben Shapiro, where she detailed how Disney has a culture of bullying. She said, quote, I'm not the only one that's ever been bullied by this company, and I know that so deeply. I could share a story which would turn things around in the media, but I can't because it would sell out a friend. Everyone is afraid of losing their job. She would also describe the toxic nature of the company, saying, you know how boxers headhunt sometimes and forget to go for the body? I feel like Disney or Lucasfilm or whoever it is just certain people at that company, I feel like I've been being headhunted and you can feel it. She would go on to provide an example saying, just a couple of weeks ago, Lucasfilm asked an artist that they employ to erase my character and put a different character in place. And he proudly announces this on Twitter and erases my character and puts another character in place. Later in the interview, Carano also revealed, quote, they've, they've been all over me and they've been watching me like a hawk and I'm watching people on the same production and they can say, everything they want, and that's where I had a problem. I had a problem because I wasn't going along with the narrative. So what do you make of Kidder's comments? Do you think he should be fired for his praise and seemingly celebration of Lucasfilm's firing of Gina Carano? Let me know in the comments below. My name is John Trent, and you've been watching Batting in the Comics.